Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. I just want to make a quick video on uh, crypto storage and just kind of some tips and tricks to uh, store your cryptocurrencies. So one way you can store crypto is on a software wallet, which would be on your computer and it would stay on there or on your phone. And there's a handful that are really good that I would recommend. I would recommend Green Wallet for uh, Bitcoin. <clears throat> I would also recommend Samurai Wallet for Bitcoin. But Green Wallet is definitely the best. And then for cryptocurrencies like EOS, I would recommend uh, Lynx and I would recommend Token Pocket. Both of those are really good. And if you're on a, uh, a computer, uh, Gray Mass is definitely the best for EOS. And uh, there's also hardware wallets. Um, a hardware wallet I'd recommend for Bitcoin is uh, the Ledger Nano S. And uh, that can also store your EOS. And uh, a hardware wallet that I'd recommend for EOS is um, SafePal Wallet. They recently... Um, had a uh, addition to add EOS to be able to store on there and you can also store Bitcoin on there they were kind enough to send me a safe pal wallet to uh, take a look at and I like what I see and it's really uh, functional and uh, something that you'd want to do is only put about 5 to 10 percent of your crypto, whatever you're holding, in a wallet at any given time, um, except maybe like the ledger, where you have uh, you know backup keys available, and you're moving large amounts from one place to another. It's a good idea to um, have all your cryptos spread out throughout multiple wallets. You know, five to ten percent in each wallet. You know, a hundred EOS might not seem that much right now because it you know cost you three hundred and fifty dollars to four hundred dollars for a hundred EOS but in the future you know when things are uh, four you know three four digit EOS you know a thousand dollar EOS that would be a hundred thousand dollars and you know that's a ton of money that's that's a, a house is a hundred thousand dollars so you'd want to have that split up into multiple uh, wallets for ease of access and also for uh, security wise because if if one of your wallets were to go down and you were to actually lose um, some of that you know you want to make sure that it's in enough places that you won't be uh, left high and dry and you won't be left without any crypto so just some tips and tricks and uh, some things that I've uh, done for myself and you know things that I've noticed watching other people who've lost crypto and things like that that there are definitely uh, right ways and there are wrong ways there are ways that help certain people um, but in the end you have to do what's best for you and what aligns with your goals and uh, so you know think about something like that don't just have all your crypto in one wallet and don't have it all in one spot make sure you have backups to all your uh, private keys all your passwords all your passphrases all your mnemonic phrases and you know really take uh, it into account because you're responsible for your crypto uh, that's the one of the double-edged swords of this space is yes you have all the freedom to be able to hold your own money but if you're not any um, cautious and don't hold your money in the correct way or are reckless with it you know that can also be the worst thing for you so it's good to take these kinds of things into account and have a plan and execute that plan and hopefully things will uh, work out the way that you intend. So I appreciate you watching. Stoffel Baker out.